Getting stuck in a tree. It's a rare situation, but it happens more often than you would think. And firefighters need to know what to do when responding to a tree emergency. A lot of the things we know, it was just being able to, to put them into play in this specific uh, scenario. Before Tuesday, creating real life scenarios for tree rescue training was not an option for firefighters. A new partnership with Sox and Freeman Tree Company, though, is making that mission possible. This has just added a whole new dimension to the air rescue training and they've enjoyed it, the, uh, the battalion has enjoyed it and uh, it's, it's been a win-win situation for us. We wanted to be able to utilize them as a resource and capture some of their basic knowledge and learn, I guess, some of the tricks of the trade. Special Operations Chief Jason Cruzen says this type of on-the-job training is invaluable to his team. It better prepares the squad for emergency situations they could face in the future. While rescuing someone from a tree may not seem like an everyday task, the Columbia Fire Department responded to four tree emergencies last year. When we do run these calls, uh, while they're not a high frequency call, they're definitely a high risk. We train in air rescue hoping to never use it. They show up every morning to work to rescue. A duty that Columbia firefighters are now better prepared to handle. In Columbia, Cheyenne Malone, Watch Fox News.